Spaniers are beautiful parrots that are known to be social, playful, adorable, and noisy. Conyers are notorious for their different noise levels, but all birds and parrots are very communicative animals and they make frequent noise and lots of different sounds. You can get to know your Conyers needs a lot better by understanding their different sounds and vocalizations. <laughs> cute snuggle bug. Welcome back to the channel, my poodle and parrot pals, Sandra and Mia here today. And we are going to talk about noise levels in parrots and what different conure sounds mean. So let's start off with noise levels. Now, bigger birds are usually louder than smaller birds, but some small birds like the sun conure or the nande conure are known to be really loud and can get louder than the big birds. It is natural for them to make noise and they have a broad decibel range of between 60 and 155 decibels. To put these numbers into context, 65 decibels is equivalent to human laughter or even a vacuum cleaner, and the average human talking voice is about 60 decibels. In comparison, 155 decibels is like a jet engine or fireworks. While 60 to 65 decibels is a manageable amount of noise, when you are not trying to focus or work, I might add, then it's okay. But 155 decibels can be very noisy and very distracting. The first one that we're gonna talk about is chirps or chirping. Now, Conyers will chirp for a variety of reasons. They might be chirping because they're happy, they're excited, they're nervous or they're trying to get your attention. So reading your bird's body language is going to be essential so that you know whether they are happy or not. In general, constant chirping is the sound of a happy and content conure, and they can be heard happily chirping on their own. Conures will chirp in excitement and happiness when they see their owner or their flock or in frustration when you leave the room. The next one is beak grinding, and this is a very specific noise. It's like they're grinding or purring their beaks, and when you hear it, you'll know. They usually make this sound when they're eating or they're drifting off to La La Land for a nap or to go to sleep. If your conure is grinding their beak, it's a sign that they're feeling comfortable, relaxed, safe, happy, and good. Another sound that you'll hear your conure making is whistling and contact calling. So conures are very social creatures in the wild and when they are domesticated and kept in captivity. They use various whistles and contact calls to communicate with their flock, whether their flock is birds or humans. You'll often hear your conure whistle or contact call when you leave the room or when you're in another room, and that's them trying to reach out to you and say, hey, is everything okay, and where are you? And if you've been out of the room for too long, then they might be contact calling you because they miss you. I'm gonna let Mango out because he's letting us know that I want to be with you guys. Do you hear him? You can develop a contact call with your bird so you can whistle back or say a phrase that you want them to learn so that you are communicating with them. And this is also a really great way to bond with your bird. It's so cute. Then there's also grunting. And this is when they're feeling relaxed or curious.
the one that we've all been waiting for is screaming. And Conyers will scream. And there's a lot of different reasons why they scream. One reason is from fear and extreme distress. So Conyers will let out really loud screams, especially when they are feeling extremely fearful. Conyers in captivity usually don't have a lot of things to be afraid of, but the sudden presence of a new animal or a large object or anything else that might just cause them to go into a panic will also cause them to scream. When they are in fear and panic, you want to make sure that you're keeping them safe so that they also avoid window crashing. While fear is a typical cause of Kanye screaming, they are also known to scream when they are bored or if they're really excited. If they are bored and they want attention, then they will scream. This is a call for interaction and your conure is clearly in need of more stimulation and they want to play with you. To avoid this, make sure that your bird always has a variety of toys, make sure that they're rotated, and make sure that you give them lots of time each day for playtime, attention, and socialization. They may also scream when they're really excited. Mango would always scream every time we got home. <laughs> Babies for the mommies. <coughs> Whoa, I miss you too. <coughs> Conyers or parrots in general release their emotions and express themselves through sound. So they will make all of these different types of vocalizations depending on what they're feeling, their emotions, and the situations. Parrots vocalize when they feel happy, sad, angry, jealous, anxious, stressed, etc. Parrots use sounds to communicate with other birds, especially when living with others. The next one is talking and or mimicking. So there are a lot of parrots that do talk and Conyers are not known for their talking abilities. They're very well known for their mimicking abilities, but it is not impossible for Conyers to talk or to learn a handful of phrases. There is tons of Conyers out there on the internet who can say a few words or they can say a phrase and it is super cute to see. And when they're talking or mimicking, these are learned sounds that they learned from you and they're just being playful and happy when they are talking or mimicking. There's also chattering and this is them kind of talking to themselves or it sounds like they're talking, they're saying something in their own little bird language. You're likely to overhear your conure softly talking to themselves and this is often a sign of contentment and happiness. It sounds like murmuring and it's so cute, usually when they are playing with their toys, hanging out with their flock, or doing other activities that make them happy. Chattering and clicking kind of go hand in hand because they usually make these sounds together and the clicking noise is when your conure rattles their tongue inside of their mouth. This sound is usually made when your conure is excited or happy. Conyers will also make hormonal sounds during hormonal seasons and you'll see the hormonal behavior associated with these sounds and that's how you'll know that these are hormonal things happening. Hormonal sounds are usually accompanied with hormonal behavior, so things like being puffed up or flapping their wings consistently. Um, maybe rubbing their butts up on something and things like that. So you'll notice that when they're making the hormonal sounds, they are also exhibiting hormonal behaviors. The next one is growling, and this one is very specific as well. Sound that you'll hear from your conure when they are under mild distress. While this is not a noise that they make from fear, there is usually something that they're not happy with. However, context again is important, but if you hear your conure figure out what is causing them distress. Now, another sound that we never want to hear our parrots make is hissing. And if they are making hissing type of sounds, this means that they are really stressed and they're feeling extreme fear or anger. This may not be a real danger, but to your parrot it is and they see it that way. 
Now, I don't have any examples of hissing, but you could look it up online. I'm sure that there are lots of examples. So that's it for today, my poodle and parrot pals. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.